Good morning, movers. Welcome back to Move Daily Fitness. It's Tracy. This beginner workout is going to focus on strength. We need to build some lean muscle tissue. As we're aging, we're facing that threat of sarcopenia, which is the loss of lean muscle. So in this workout today, we're going to help you build lean muscle. It's gonna be a full body workout, so we'll target a little bit of everything. The format will be 40 seconds of work with 15 seconds in between. And we're gonna do two rounds of each exercise. Grab a variety of dumbbells for the workout today. And hey, if you're looking for a cardio workout for tomorrow, click or tap the card at the top of the screen and that's a beginner cardio workout for you. All right, are you ready to do this? Let's go and move daily. I'm clicking strength workouts or traditional strength training on my watch. Let's warm things up, single side circle right here, and we'll get the body ready to lift those weights. Remember to lift within your own abilities, switch directions here. I will have the weights that I'm using listed at the end of each exercise at the top of the screen. So you can take a look, see where I'm at, switch sides, and then gauge where you're at in comparison and then you can just continue through the workout and lift accordingly. Switch directions. Very good, let's tap across and reach right here. All right, up and over. Reach and stretch, that's it. All right, hands are here, both behind the head, both behind the back. All right, behind the head, behind the back, warming up your rotator cuff here a bit. Just do a few of these. In three, two, last one here. All right, stay wide, and we're touching hand to toe right here. Stay wide and we'll lunge side to side, warming up that inner thigh here a bit. You can bring that shoulder toward your opposite knee. Last one here. Now let's go into some hip openers. Bring your leg up and around, alternate sides. And we'll go into some heel dig. Sweep each side here, alternate. Hands are on the shoulders, nice rotation right here. All right, and we'll finish off with 15 calf raises. Come up to your tiptoes, swing your hands up as tall as you can go here. That's five, 10 more. Last one here. Very good, there are the first three exercises. Remember, two rounds of everything. We're starting with squats. You can do this without weights if you'd like. I think I'll just grab some eight pound dumbbells. We're hitting that suitcase squat. Feet your shoulder width apart. And it's like you're bending down to pick up your suitcase and standing back up. 
So drop it low and up. You can also hit a sit squat from seated position to standing, which helps to modify the squat a bit better if you need. Moving into a hammer curl press. All right, elbows stay nice and close to your side. I'm gonna stick with the eights, but you can go lighter, threes or fives. These are soft. Shoulders back, curl and press. So we lift and press. Elbows are close. Palms are facing each other. All right, now we're gonna take it wide open into a plie. You're gonna go low, and as you rise back up, we'll hit a bicep curl, okay? Plie, squat into that curl, shoulders back. Drop it low, stand, curl right here. Low, stand and curl. Okay, now's your chance to switch weights if you want. I'm gonna stick with these eight pound dumbbells throughout. Back to that suitcase squat for round two. All right, feet are shoulder width, chest is up. Drop it low and stand. Reach your hips back. Okay, moving into your curl press. I'll stick with eights again here as well. Remember, elbows are in. Let's have a nice softness in the knee. Shoulders back, palms are facing. Curl it here, straight press. Don't look up at the weights. Look straight ahead. All right, nice. And finishing off with that plie. If you don't wanna hit the squat, you can just stand here and give me that bicep curl with the elbows in. Otherwise, we'll drop low, curl at the top. Low and curl right here.
I'm gonna grab my tens as well and head down to the ground next. All right, leave my eights there. Take it to the ground for that wide, narrow press for chest. All right, and then we'll hit a tricep extension with a lighter weight. On your back, starting wide, turn narrow, and we press to the ceiling. Turn at the top to face. You can touch the ground with your elbows each time. If you're on a bench, you're only gonna go to 90 degrees on that elbow though, okay? Great, you might lighten a little bit. We're gonna go to that tricep press overhead extension. Palms facing, I'm gonna pop my hips into a bridge where you can lie flat. Press into the ceiling, back of the elbow, and return. Press it up, bend at the elbow, up and down. Up, back, up, down. Going to go into abs here. We're going to come up onto the elbows and do an alternating heel drop. Okay, this could also be done from your back if you uh, if that hurts your neck on your elbows. Okay, drop it here. Switch. Good. Alternating now. here for me. Palms facing, straight up, then back, then return. Hips are up, press it here, ceiling, back, ceiling, and down.
All right, I'm gonna give you about 30 seconds to stand. Make sure you're not dizzy as you come up. Grab some water, and there are the exercises for the next circuit. Grabbing some light weights, you can do twos or threes or fives here. We're gonna do a front and lateral combination. So we'll pop it to the front, then we'll pop it to the side, stick your chest out, and knees are soft. Pop it here and down to the side and down. Set weights down, we'll do a body weight static lunge, okay? Hold weights if you'd like, but hold on to something for balance if you need. Little pelvic tilt, we're straight up and down, I'll call half on the leg, then we'll switch. Drop it low. Now, look down, you should be able to see your toe, and if you keep your body upright, you're not gonna go over that toe, okay? You gotta stay nice and tall, chest back, Body's upright. It's only when we start to lean forward we go over. Switch legs, pelvic tilt, and drop. All right, we're gonna work a little outer thigh here. Knee is soft, hold on to something for balance. We're gonna do a lateral leg extension or abduction out to the side. Again, I'll call half on the leg, we'll switch. Bottom leg, knee is soft. And we're out to the side, up, that's it. Three, two, one. Switch legs, knees soft and out. All right, shake those out. You feel that? burn when we have to do that isometric hold, right? We're holding the muscle in place. Nice activation. Lateral front combo again. Shoulders back. You're here and lateral right here. Set those down. <clears throat> All right, and back into your static lunge. One in front, one behind. Little pelvic tilt. I'll call half, and we drop. Good. Last one there, switch your leg and drop. And let's go into that leg extension. Again, nice to hold on to something if you feel a little bit tippy, all right. Stationary leg, knee is soft, and we're 
out to the side here. I'll call half and we lift. Last one here and switch sides. Grabbing light weights again, maybe threes, fives, or eights, somewhere in there. We're gonna do a palm up, cross body raise. So alternate sides, take your chest out, knees are soft. Palm is up and we cross, switch, cross. Nice little flex in the pec muscle, okay? Right by the armpit there. At the top, we squeeze, good, and squeeze. We'll stick with a single-sided action with our pinwheel curl. So maybe fives, eights, tens here. We're gonna alternate sides. Bicep curl with the palm facing the ceiling. Again, stick the chest out. Curl it here. Nice. Up. Now don't turn your torso, keep it facing me, right? Or your mirror, don't twist. And we'll lighten back up for our single double high pull. Threes, fives. All right, you're gonna pull up one side, pull up the other, and then we'll pull, pull, pull both at the same time. <laughs> what am I saying? Here, both right here. That's it. So we got single, single, double here. into that cross body raise, all right. Fives, eights, tens, somewhere in that range for pounds. These are soft, palms face the ceiling. Alternate, bring it up and flex. And we'll move into that pinwheel curl here. <clears throat> Roll those shoulders back. Uh, I've got eights, I guess I'll stick with that. Remember, we're, palms are facing the ceiling here. Alternate up and flex the bicep at the top.
You want to put your mind in the muscle that's working. Here we're working those biceps, so you think about it and you flex at the top. All right, last one here. And we'll do that single double high pull. Palms face the thighs. Again, single, single, and then double together right here. Chest is out, pop it up. Other side, up, double now, up. Great, set those down. You've got one more circuit here. Grab a quick sip, take a look at the screen, and grab your weights. We'll get going in one second here. We're gonna move into that sumo squat. Again, this can be done with zero weights. Okay, I'll call halfway, we'll switch hands. But a sumo squat is a wide stance, feet face the front. We're gonna drop low and drive through the heels. So drop it here. Now, I want you to keep your chest up and keep your chin up looking at me here. Reach the hips back. All right, good. Reach. All right, switch hands and drop. Okay, let's go into our single double Arnold press. Go light, you're gonna be here for a season, right? So palms face the chin, we'll single press there, single and then a double. So we single here, switch, single, now together, and press. Don't look at the dumbbells as you press them. Okay, keep looking straight ahead. And press. We're going to move into that bent over row. I am going to grab eight something. So we're going to hinge at the waist. You're going to row up here, and then we'll stand, and then you're going to do a hammer curl with a turn at the top. So we hinge, row, full stand, curl, and squeeze at the top. Hinge, row, stand, curl, and turn. All right, back to your sumo squat. And 10 or 12, that's good. No weight is good as well. Wide stance, shoulders back. Let's drop it low and drive. One more here. Now switch. And let's 
for the single double Arnold. Again, maybe just fives. These are soft, shoulders are low and back. And this is your starting position here. Single here, press. Other side, double now. our bent over row hammer curl turn. All right, it's gonna be whatever you can hammer curl. Fives, eights, or tens, somewhere in that range. We'll hinge, nice flat back. Row it here, stand, curl and turn. Last 15 seconds. In three, two, one and done. You move daily in your strength workout. We're warding off sarcopenia, the loss of muscle, by doing workouts just like that. Do my first stretch if you can. All right, let's start with the wall stretch pec stretch right against a wall or a back of a couch or chair or something. I just want you to open up and turn away from your hand here. A sarcopenia is actually translated in the Greek to mean loss of flesh. It's literally the loss of muscle. It's the loss of that flesh. Switch sides. And it's age related. So as we age, if you do nothing to stop it, it's going to happen, right? So a couple of things that we can do to ward that off is the number one thing, of course, is resistance training. We need to be lifting weights. We need to be picking up heavy things, doing functional exercises that keep activating those muscles, ligaments, joints, and putting uh, pressure on our bones so that they don't become fragile either, right? Stretch the chest. Uh, so that's number one thing. And then eating protein, which helps increase our lean muscle mass or tissue, is really important as well. I think so few of us, we're gonna hinge forward and reach to the ceiling. So few of us get an adequate amount of protein. Uh, I know the minimal recommendation for women is typically somewhere around that 50 to 60 grams a day, switch side. But if you wanna build muscle, you need more than that. Now we're looking upwards of 1.2 to 1.6 or even 2.2 grams of protein per kilogram of body weight. So for me, that's around that 100 gram a day mark. And it's a challenge some days to get that in. It definitely is. You have to be forward thinking. You've got to be pre-planning. You've got to think, okay, I'm having a three egg omelet for breakfast. I'm having Greek yogurt as my snack or cottage cheese. I'm having my chicken salad for lunch. I'm having salmon and lentils for dinner, right? So that would be 100 grams. But if we think, oh, I'm just going to have Eggo waffles for breakfast, no protein. Oh, I'm going to have uh, sweet potato fries for lunch with some toast, no protein. Uh, I'm going to have, you know, maybe just baked potato and lettuce. <laughs> I don't know what you'd have for dinner. Again, no protein. So it's really important to just kind of be forward thinking, going, okay, where is my protein source? How am I getting that in? And things that are easy and less expensive, of course, are things like lentils, beans, um, eggs. Although eggs are, there's some sort of crazy egg thing in the States right now, isn't there? <laughs> like an egg shortage? I heard about that. Uh, they are expensive right now here in Canada too. But even tuna, tins of tuna on sale. Um, so things like that, you know, we can keep in the freezer or buy when they're uh, on sale is a good good idea. I'm gonna go into this glute stretch here. Just cross at the knee. You're gonna hold on to something if you're tippy. 
but it's being prepared. I will also add protein powder to my diet uh, periodically, just if I don't have the food prepared. I like to have it on hand in the event that I'm not necessarily prepared or I don't feel like eating uh, like a meal, you know, and I just want to drink something, then protein powder is a nice uh, quick substitute if need be. But of course, whole foods are the best always, so try to get whole foods in if you can. Let's do a quad stretch, knees together. Uh, but I do like, I, I usually do Greek yogurt, plain, no sugar added my own berries or pomegranates, my own granola, and then protein powder, usually a half a scoop of that to sweeten it. And with the amount of yogurt that I have, it equals 30 grams of protein. Like what a great snack, right? And it satisfies me with the healthy nuts in the granola. It's one of my favorite foods to have. I think I could, if you had to pick something to live on for the rest of your life, I would pick that. It's, I just love it. And then I do chia, putting in there as well for extra fiber. Mm. Gives me all the, all the goodness. All right, folks, thanks for joining. I'm glad you moved daily with me. If you're looking for more structure, be sure to join our membership where we do offer a full beginner stream. Okay, so you can start nice and slow, start at your pace, and then learn how to eat, how to take care of your wellness, how to train properly with the rest of the group as well. Click or tap there, or there's a workout for tomorrow. See ya in the next workout.